120 grand on one leg and 60 okay. grand on the other leg. What'd you have in between them? Uh, 160. That's weird. And I was like, that's not right. Sounds like a breaker's bed. It's okay, food's ready. So I trace the wire back to the sub panel. Bad fuse. Bad fuse? So where were you getting the 60 volts from? Is this work for me? The bad yeah. leg. Thank you. So is the bees too. just like, you so, know, bad? So, this person must be one of these little breakers, but oh, cheesy it has too. little Three connections in them. Oh, I don't have a pancake for That myself. when oh, you open no mine, idiot. it will actually turn the light on. Oh. So when I pulled the fuse out and checked continuity, and I had Maybe OL on one, one, and the other one was... These are the leftover cheeseburger so we'll things. No oh, idea. The unit came along though? Does anyone mm -hmm. want a leftover cheeseburger roll? They're really good. Even if they look kind of dumb. No, I didn't go that far into it because I wasn't told to go too far into it. It was just uh, get their AC working. So, okay. I had a side job in Saratoga Springs last week. Uh -huh. Guys, you it's leaking. I went over to his house last year and gassed it up for him. There's pancakes. I don't know. But it was, it was, it was nearly flat again. They're cottage cheese pancakes. It's flat again? Ooh. Nearly. Oh, it's a good uh, texture. So I, That's for you to decide. I drive down there, I pump home. it up with nitrogen, and I'm, I pull the condenser apart, I pull the evap apart. I'm leak checking everything with bubbles. No fucking bubbles, no way. Don't say the S word, I'm making a video for Wayland. I, I, I bubble the service valves outside, the compressor, and we no bubbles. But it looked like the lines were vibrating against the stucco workers in the house and I had no access. So I was like, I don't know what you want me to do, man. I could probably run you a new line set, but I can't guarantee that's going to fix the problem. He was like, okay, let's do that. <laughs> okay. So he is in the process of cutting everything out of the way for me, and I'll go back. I said, I, I can do it. I have a drum wall set. I just figured it's your house. Maybe you'd want to chop all your drywall out of the way. Penske coming to us? That's probably his ammo. Because last time a Penske truck showed up, there was ammo on the back porch. <laughs> That is ammo. That's an Amazon guy. He must have rented that Penske truck to do his Amazon deliveries. Maybe. Come on, just put it in place. Okay, you got one more page. It's not going to hurt your pancake. I don't want me to do that. Is this something for Wayland? Will you trade me? Open it up. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, eating eggs he, he bounced up on the porch way too way lightweight. Too well, I Fair saw more. him walking up with this, and I said, that ain't ammo. Mm -hmm. It's one. One, one. ammo. <laughs> At one. It's a strawberry. Oh, it's a vibrating strawberry, because I felt teeth. I felt bad for getting in my breast massager, so I wanted a baby toy that was a vibrator, specifically for babies, because I didn't want to buy him like a vibrating adult toy Valid. to send to daycare. Like, even if I bought it and he... People be, like, when I used to work with Black Velvet, people would buy, like, bullet vibrators and stuff to put in their kids' mouths. And I was like, that's tiny. Like, they're going to choke. I would want something bigger, but also, I don't know if that stuff can handle being chewed on. It hasn't been it hasn't been tested for that, though. You don't know what it's been tested for. They're usually, they usually can't because they're tested to be like waterproof, submersible. Yeah, I want the waterproof one so that he can suck on it and like... Not, not it. And the, um, the plug where you plug it in is usually behind Wait, a piece of cheese is already... Oh, behind a... Tanner? Oh. He has a cheese, yeah, I think they there was a one, cheese egg. There was like one little piece oh, of cheese. Oh, one little chicka? One of these, yeah. This pancake is so good. There's milk and eggs and cottage cheese oh. in that pancake mix. It's so good. A pancake mix has milk in it. 
that normally, if it's cooked into something, it normally doesn't fuck Tanner up. Unless it's cheese. Yeah. Yeah, there's no cheese in the pancakes. Just yeah. cottage cheese. And it's cooked in there. And he should be okay. Yeah. I use the hand mixer to blend it up. Waylon, you watching Daddy? And you want more pancake? We got, um, cheesy egg for him next. Say yay, cheesy egg. Delicious cheesy egg. And you want to try the cheesy egg right now? Cheese is a common choking hazard. So we have to be aware. We have to be very careful. He says I'm going to eat only the cheese. This is going to be the most dangerous part. Buddy, mommy's watching. We got one piece of cheese, Gita. <laughs> I think he should be okay because he's a little bit older now and he's been eating food for a while. And I saw him eat a piece of toast this big all the day in one bite. He's advancing. Yeah, this Axby's toast. He killed it. Oh, hell yeah. You gotta give him that Cane's toast. Yeah, we should get everything. She said she don't, she don't remember us going to the Zaxby's on the 12th. Never heard of it. I've never been there in my life. <laughs> I had no idea that it was the Zaxby's on 12th. Right. It's right by um, Winco. Uh, when you come out of Winco on your way home, it's right there. Um, There's a new spaghetti place to go in Layton. Spaghetti by the Bucket? No, it's spaghetti called... Spaghetti by the Bucket. What it's the called hell? Spaghetti to Go. Oh. Yeah, it's by the Winkle and Layton, which I went there when Raya, I took her to donate blood the last time because I was getting her little puppy treats for being a good lifesaver, blood donation doggy. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this? It looks like a logo someone designed in, like, Microsoft Paint. Nice. And the fact that it's called Spaghetti to Go, I was like, that can't be a real place. That's a meme. Damn, these pancakes are good as shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your you like cheesy? Your delivery has been rescheduled. Damn. TK422 Designs. I don't, I don't know what that means. I mean, go fuck yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. You're recording. It's okay. I'll have to just put a warning on the video. You can bleep me. I'm not, I'm not going to do any editing. <laughs> I don't do editing. I don't know what this package is. I'm guessing this is maybe my base plate. What is it? Um... A notification through UPS. It's an email. It could be something that I shipped to myself. Sometimes I'll get. Do you guys do informed free? delivery? Huh? Do you guys do informed delivery? I, I don't normally don't is. get things for her shit though, because she has deliveries that come every day. You pay. It's like two dollars when you move in, and it tells you exactly what is supposed to come in the mail. So if someone she like gets yoinks, it. Like someone yoinks something from you, you can be like, this didn't show it's up. It's also really annoying when you're trying to order a surprise and she's like, something's supposed to be delivered. I don't know, I'm like, what are you getting delivered? Oh, well, mind your business. Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta do what Emily does and just order shit every day <laughs> so that when three or four packages show it's up. It's not a surprise. You just don't even know what it is. You just bring them in, you don't even look at it anymore. <laughs> you just look to see if it has your name on it, and then if it doesn't, you're like, okay, more well, on things this. like Amazon. They now have those Amazon pickup deliveries where you can pick them up at like Like 11. a Kohl's or whatever? Yeah, wherever they have Oh, they have like the lockers. lockers. Yeah. yeah. Pick it up. Pick it up near me or whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, we just got Peggy. Yeah. He's got it all over himself. A cheesy baby. I'm not supposed to give him too much of the cheese because I'm supposed to only give him low sodium cheese. So mm. anything under 100 milligrams per serving. But that one had 170 milligrams. But he's also been dehydrated and having diarrhea. So. But it's because his kidneys can't really handle the salt. Yeah. So I'm only gonna let him eat a little bit. That's me. <laughs> yeah, you love it. Huh. We're gonna go for a big nap after this, huh? The cheesy yeah. dreams. This is his first time having cheese. That's so special. I love being here for his first time. Yeah. 
We have Brussels sprouts. Green beans. He's had green bean before. I don't think I let him actually eat a piece of it. He had it in his mouth. And, um, something else. A broccoli. A broccoli. The I was fridge. there for a broccoli. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the, he's the had, broccoli cauliflower. Yeah, he's had broccoli before, but the Brussels sprouts will be new. I'm going to cook those tonight. I was thinking about doing peanut butter and jelly for him. Mm -hmm. Just a little piece. Because he's had peanut butter and he's had toast, but he hasn't had jelly. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going to love it. Yeah, I can't give him too much, though. What uh, what type of jelly are you going to give him? I feel strawberry jam. I was going to say, I feel like that determines what kind of jelly person you are for the rest of your life. Baby, <coughs> can you help me figure this out? Did it not come with a charger? Or is it batteries? Abs oh. Yeah, batteries. Here's the instructions. We might have to unscrew it and put batteries in it. Little nibblers by breeding teether. That's Mr. Nibblers. Yeah. You okay? You got Iggy? Yeah, he's okay. Iggy? Iggy for Egbert? I think it turns on when they start chewing it. Or, I don't know. There's got to be a button. Yeah, it's exactly what it does. Wait, you did it. you just squeeze it? Is yeah. it on? Only on this side. Yeah. Yeah. The pressure points in the cookie. I don't know if he can bite down that hard. <laughs> yeah, he can. I don't you know if he will because it's finger? pokey. It might hurt him. <laughs> or not hurt him, but like it might shock him. I'm just gonna buy him a freaking vibrator. One I can just turn on and hand to him. Mm. A big one. Not an expensive one, but definitely waterproof. Uh, I was gonna say this one. So, for the people watching, you have to squeeze right here, and then only this part vibrates. And when you let go, it stops vibrating. I'll let you play with it after you're done eating, okay, buddy? It's just, but I want This to one is but, kind of expensive, but it's really flexible and squishy. There's an ad on the screen. I think that. This one. You want more egg with no cheese? Yeah, is that one... That one doesn't look like a sex toy, so... Yeah. Yeah, I'm more comfortable with that. I was gonna say. Here, I'll send you the link to it. Like I said, it's... A little bit more expensive. But you only, and it's a magnetic recharge, so there's no plug. Good. That way he can't shock himself. Because my, my breast massager has a plug hole, mm -hmm. and I don't let him put that in, in his mouth. It's also like a, like it's a rumbly vibration, so it doesn't like, like it's not tickly. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got it, buddy. Waylon says, I got it, Mom. Oh my gosh, is one free water? What the hell? He's chewing his egg. egg. He says, Taylor, I eat my egg. My mommy gives me egg sometimes. My mommy makes me egg. Egg a baby. That's my little egg bark. Do you want to go for a walk today, babe? Oh, we should go for a walk with the stroller and the baby. No, we don't. Yes, we do. You guys don't have chores. They didn't do chores last week because they were gone all weekend. No. I'm not doing chores until Tyler goes back in the house. So I can do them without feeling like I'm being watched. Even though I know she wouldn't, like, judge me. I just don't like it. It's like I don't really like to do chores when Tanner is home. Oh, it's like a private thing you like? Yeah. Well, it's because it always gets worse before it gets better. 
like if I were to oh, do yeah, like you chores, have to take chores, stuff apart to put it. Yeah. If I were to do like chores, chores like the last time I did, I literally threw away like half of my kitchen. <laughs> good. It's good to throw stuff away. I was like, like I don't need this. The less stuff you have, the less stuff there is to clean. When I found out I was pregnant, I threw out four truckloads worth of stuff from uh. from this property. You know, when I get pregnant, you gotta help me with that. I'll throw everything away. Mm -hmm. I know. What we really need to do is throw away everything in the spare room because I never use it. Yeah, if you don't use something for six months. See, that's the rule. Like, if it's a, if I have like a doom box, I don't even want to go through it. I just want to put it in the garbage, but I can't. My you brain is like, no, you have to go through it. Yeah, what if there's something look. sentimental in there? Yeah. You know what we should do? We should go to the store and buy more hangers. So I can go through all those clothes my mom gave me. 